Dear students, this is an announcement. The following footage comes from a lightly edited stream. If you want to catch me live, you can do so over on Twitch under the name Loafdog TV. Now please enjoy this episode. <laughs> well, now that we've decided to believe Hyoko, now what? So, I don't know if we're gonna have another meat on the bone situation. If the killer was luring Hyoko into a trap, then something that was used there might be a clue. Do you mean the letter? No, it was probably the gummy. Huh? Candy can be a clue? Hey, when you woke up, was the gummy already there? Nope. Now that you mention it, I feel like it wasn't. Although, would you really look... Uh, on the floor for clues if you were drugged and put in a closet or would you just come out just as I thought just as you thought if the killer planted evidence while Hyoko was there she would have thrown it away if she found it yeah but that's the point I don't think she would have found it which means the gummy was placed inside the closet after Hyoko fled from the beach house the killer returned to the scene of the crime after I left? Or maybe they never left if they were in the shower room. They wouldn't have to do something that troublesome as long as they hid somewhere yes. within the beach house. That's impossible! There's nowhere to hide! I even glanced inside the shower room as I was running away, but there was nobody there! Oh. Then, does that mean the killer came back? Did he hide in the trash can? Hmm. I wonder, at any rate, the solution to that problem is connected to what really happened. That's what I think. I want to play a new game. Is that what you're thinking? If so, we prepared the perfect product for you. You will dive into your own brain and logically discern the mysterious answer from several questions. It's called the Logic Dive. During the Logic Dive, you will control a version of yourself created from an image within your brain. Your task is to reach the goal, the final destination of the synapse course. You can move sideways with the left stick and accelerate with the R1 button. Press the circle button to break and the L1 button to jump. There will be various obstacles you will encounter as you progress through the course. So make sure you are familiar with these controls so you can reach the goal. On your journey, you will take damage every time you fall into a gap or bump into walls. Also, upon reaching a certain point, there will be breaching, branching questions of, in the course. The answers split into different paths, so please proceed down the path of the answer you think is correct. Branching questions will appear several times in one course, so please be careful. I highly recommend that you make good use of the break. That's my metal sum advice to you. If you press the options button during the logic time, you can review the controls. Well then, good luck and have fun. They're throwing new, several new modes in each, uh, in each new trial. I mean, it's cool on the one hand, on the other. It's too much. She's right. This might be a very important problem. If the killer tampered with the evidence after Hyoko ran away from the beach house, when did the killer arrive and depart from the beach house? Think. If I just focus and think about it, I'm sure I'll be able to find the answer. Alright, I'm going to do it. Logic Dive. Whoa, it's kind of like those, uh... Okay, no, this is actually cool. Because <laughs> it's like those uh, phone games, those early phone apps. Yo, let's go! Question one. When did the killer arrive at the beach house? Uh... Off? I guess Nope Before, sorry So this is the jump button
Yo, I'm actually digging this. Question two, when did the killer leave the beach house? Okay, so have after she left. Because he was hidden inside, yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. We got some obstacles too. Where was the killer hiding? Uh, the beach house, right? Yeah. It would be really cool if there was an endless mode for this after beating the game. It's all coming together. Do you think the killer might have been hiding? I'm thinking just to say something so pointless. How disappointing. Okay, for once, I I have to side with her. Didn't I just say there was nowhere to hide? Do I have to explain it in another language so you can understand? Her personality got a hell of a lot more forceful once she stopped being a suspect. No, it should have been a place for them to hide. A place you didn't look, Yoko. Oh, what are you saying? Stop being annoying or I'm gonna make Akane bop you on the head and shut you up for good. I really don't want that to happen to me. I need to answer, by any means. The place where the killer was hiding, the place where Hyoko has looked is... The top shelf of the... bridge? Could it be? The killer was hiding inside the fridge? Oh, gee, it's Chiaki. They freeze! You're gonna climb a mountain made of ice? There's always fighting when you play with two players. Crap! Everyone's starting... Staring. Looks like I just made a fool of myself. Okay, sorry, sorry, my man. <sighs> I mean, where else? Really? It's not the shower room. Crap! Yes. It's not outside. Crap! And it can't be in the closet, I mean. They just be outside. No, in fact, yes. The trash can is not the bench? Well what is this? Yeah. I mean the closet. What the fuck? Killer is probably hiding in the closet. The closet? That's where I was locked up! After you woke up, you said you rushed out of there, right? And you probably didn't look inside the closet very carefully. Then she could have dropped the gummy and not see it. Do you even listen to yourself? You're contradicting your previous statement. But could two people even hide in such a small place? And without Kyoko knowing? I mean, there were those uh, funky uh, surfboard cases. He could have been in one of them. That's why the I guess. To arrange a hiding place. Yeah. If the killer made sure to arrange a hiding place in advance, I can only think of one place. That's right. The place where the killer was hiding inside was inside the closet was here. What about the surfboard case in the closet? I'm pretty sure they could have hidden in there. Huh? Inside the surfboard case? But the shelf it was on. It was pretty messy, don't you think? All the more reason to think that's what happened. Two surfboards were stacked on the top shelf. And there were surfboards that weren't even in a case. The killer probably did that on purpose to secure a hiding place. Because we haven't been on this island that long. So the closet yeah. shouldn't have been that messy. I think. Then, the killer was close to me during that time? <laughs> they were quietly holding their breath and hiding very close to you. It's kind of like, in for a penny, in for a pound, so to speak. But don't you mean, it's always darkest under the lighthouse? <laughs> I shouldn't say things I don't understand, like, so to speak. <laughs> anyway, the killer hid silently. 
and after making sure Hyoko left, he got out. He finally left the surfboard case. I agree with that as well. Seriously, nobody, nobody asked, asked you. What you yeah. Think. There's no way the killer would leave Hyoko by herself if they were trying to frame her. If Hyoko was left alone and ruined the evidence the killer had planted, it would have messed up their plan. Instead, it makes more sense to think that the killer was hiding in the beach house. Watching Hyoko. Say whatever you want, even if you didn't ask. Alright, if you don't want to friggin' get punched, just stand still and let me punch ya! Uh, the what? <laughs> Oh, you shut up. Then, grit your teeth. Aren't you on opposite sides? Sorry, Akane. It's not like that. Hey, Monokuma. Can I ask you about something that seems strange to me? I believe Prince Shotoku was from the future. A man from the future is always directing the flow of history. As everybody knows, I'll yes. I'll listen to your story about men from the future some other time. As I recall. The body discovery announcement is made when three or more people discover a body, right? Is the killer also included among those three or more people? I mean, it shouldn't be, but it's probably gonna be. Yeah, that's true, but, uh, well, something like that is basically what it's supposed to be. You don't sound very articulate. Jeez, you're pretty annoying for noticing something like that. I know it sounds like an excuse, but the body discovery announcement isn't supposed to be used for deduction. It's intended okay. to create a fair trial. It's supposed to let everyone know a body has been found. So you're saying it's unfortunate that I used it for deduction? I understand your excuse, but... You still didn't answer. Depending on who actually found the body, it's possible that your three or more people rule could be deadly. Well... As long as I keep things ambiguous, I can respond to situations with some flexibility. You sneaky, sneaky bastard. Flexibility, huh? So what about this time? Is it three people including the killer or not? Jeez, fine, fine! You want me to say it? Oh, okay. It doesn't include the killer this time, okay? All done. I mean, you shouldn't. Like, not even all the other times. Which means otherwise it will always be two people. Killer body. It's obvious that the killer would discover the body. Is the one turning it into a corpse? What's wrong with that? Nothing. I just thought it was somewhat strange. More importantly, let's get back to our original topic. Unless my previous understanding of how this works was incorrect. And so they, three people, uh, a group of three people has to discover the body for the announcement to, to take place. And what they're saying is maybe a group of three people was already there, but the killer was among them? Let's see. You're the one who went on a tangent. We were just saying the killer was hiding in the surfboard case, right? Yes. And after Hyoko ran away, the killer got to enjoy the simple life of destroying evidence. However, before we proceed, oh, the any four further, dark devas have come we out. Have to make clear. The killer blocked the roadside door with Mahiru's body before Hyoko ran away. But what about the blood? Now that you mention it, that mystery hasn't been solved yet. It's going to be all right. If you guys have come this far, I'm sure you can discover that answer too. Because mm, you already know everything, don't you, Nagito? Now, let's start the argument, shall we? Now then, I shall explain you to you the final feature in this non-stop debates. From this point forward, you will now be able to use the truth flashback. If you hold down the triangle button, the shape of the reticle will change. If you aim at the remark's weak spot and keep it in that position, you will be able to memorize it. Okay, like in the first game. This memorized phrase can, phrase can only be fired once a single truth as a single truth bullet. If you shoot or change to a different truth bullet, it will disappear from your truth cylinder. However, you can use this flashback feature as many times as you want. 
If you don't seem to have the answer to a lie or mistake in your available truth bullets, it may be wise to memorize a different weak spot and use that to make your case. When's the best time to flashback? Well, you'll just have to trust your keen wits, won't you? By the way, you will not be able to agree with anyone while you're using the truth flashback. Please remember that it is only effective when refuting points. Well then, good luck and have fun! Okay, but there's obviously gonna be one right here, otherwise they wouldn't have introduced the concept to us. What did the killer do with the blood on their body? Maybe they simply washed it off. No, that's not they it. Couldn't use the shower, right? So washing it off would have been impossible. They didn't have to use the shower. Why didn't it? Okay. Uh, what about the wetsuits in the closet? But can this be memorized too? Maybe they wore one when they moved the body. I guess not. If they use something other than the shower, what did they do with the bloody wetsuit? They cut it up and flush. As someone who flushes their shit every morning, I can <laughs> declare it would definitely clog the toilet. Oh hi, no problem. Maybe it's the other way around. Perhaps someone other than the killer moved the body. Maybe other they than were the able killer. to wash it off. Okay, so if I use that person's opinion, I might be able to break through the contradiction. What did the Let's see, with we the were just introduced body. with the concept of the flashbacks. And... Let's see... So washing it off would have been impossible. They didn't Maybe. have to use the shower. Because I can use this to agree with someone only to body. refute their claims. If they use something other than the shower. Uh, no, I don't think I don't think what this is the right the one. Wetsuit? They cut it up and flush. Should probably if use someone who flushes their shit one. every morning. I can declare it would definitely clog the toilet. <laughs> Maybe it's the other way around. Perhaps someone other than the killer moved the body? Maybe they were able to wash it off. I still don't know if I can uh, use the flashback on uh, on an agreeing point. What did the killer do with the blood on their body? Okay, let's get rid of this first. Maybe they simply washed it off. They couldn't use the shower, right? So washing it off would have been would impossible. Would have been impossible. Oh, come on. They didn't have to use the shower. What about the wetsuits in the closet? Maybe they wore one when they moved the body. If they use something other than the shower. Wait, unless the it's the other way wetsuit? around, I have to shoot the other than the shower on would have been impossible. As someone who flushes the yeah, shit every like morning, that. I can declare it would definitely clog. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe they were able to wash it off. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What did the killer do with the blood on their body? Maybe they simply they couldn't use the shit to wash it off. They didn't have to use. Oh, what about maybe they wore one when they did they use something other than the shower? What did they do? Okay, and then if we start so again, I can refute for you echoes that would have been impossible. What did the killer do with the? Maybe they simply wa they couldn't use the shower, right? So washing it off would have been impossible. Yes. No, that's wrong. We got it. They just needed to wash off the blood. They didn't necessarily have to use the shower. They could have just as easily used something else. Something other than the shower. <laughs> like what? Oh, the water bottles, yes. Something other than the shower water that was used to wash off the blood. It's possible it was the drinks inside the refrigerator, yes. See. Drinks what do you mean? Couldn't the killer have used those to wash off the blood? Oh, it's not working? I think through it. In theory, that's impossible. Why? Try to remember the refrigerator carefully. 
and then you will understand that there's no possible way the drinks in the refrigerator will use. Rebuttal showdown. Okay, the trash can is gonna be our weapon. It's true, there were drinks. But let's in the no. beach house refrigerator. No, 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 no. However, try one bottle who wouldn't be enough to wash off the blood. I can't back down! Huh, you I lost uh, the sword fight. They could have used a bunch of them to wash it off. <laughs> so who's the ultimate? There were no water mm. bottles in the refrigerator. No, trash can. There were only flavored drinks with colored Freak. dyes. If you use those to wash the blood, will come off and it will leave an air of especially if you use that alone with great suspicion. Oh, she's saying that uh, could be the first allegation was intended to lead to this outcome. She's saying that there were no water bottles and that we could have uh, we could have gotten who it was by the smell, but. Uh, Didn't I say it was for a impossible? second. There were no water bottles in the refrigerator. That's gotta be there the trash can. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She's saying yeah, because she's looking. No, no. Okay, I think I cut through the one I needed. Yeah, she's gonna. She's thinking about the bottles that are in the refrigerator, but we have to look at the ones in the trash can. <laughs> Didn't I say it was impossible? There were no, there were only flavored ah, drinks. Ah, okay, it's the first, the second thing that she says, so. Yeah, 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 we got it, we got it. <laughs> Didn't I say it was impossible? There were no water bottles okay. in the... Okay, there you go. Through those words. Break. Look, there were water bottles inside the refrigerator. How many times do I have to tell you? Yes, because they were used. That was after the incident, right? But before the incident, there were water bottles in the fridge. And the killer took all of those water bottles and used them to wash the blood off their body. So you're saying the water bottles were gone? Because they were all used? That's a logical fallacy. It's not a fallacy. There should have been evidence inside the trash can. Evidence like a lot of thrown away plastic water bottles. Isn't that right, Chiaki? Yeah, unless... Unless the, someone was really thirsty. Are you gonna say that? Oh, you're right. These bottles look like they may have been filled with water. Well, now that you mention it... When I went to the beach house a few days ago, I feel like I drank one of those plastic water bottles. Oh, thank you, Kazuichi. Huh? You should have said so sooner. Okay. Then, the plastic water yes, bottles you should have said that sooner, the but they really like to keep things for themselves. Dousing your body with lots of water bottles is such a simple and easy to understand explanation. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Now that I think about it, if they soak the, their entire body with a bunch of plastic water bottles, if they did that, the person would be wet. It seems you've realized who the killer is. See? Just as I thought. Hold on. You, you know who the killer is? <laughs> is that true? Let me ask. Who might that be? Wait. Who was what? Was uh Oh Paco ah, you sneaky little bastard Okay, if the killer used plastic water bottles to wash off the blood that splatter onto them, the killer, Majiru's killer, must be that person. Excuse me, we got some package in here. Yeah, there she is. You're the only one! You're the only one! Echo, is it you? Hey, what are you being quiet for? They're accusing you of being the killer! 
She's quiet because she is the king. I remember when we were all meeting up to go to the beach. Your appearance when you came to the diner. Hajime and Kazuichi, why are you two here? Hey, aren't you breathing pretty heavily? I just did a little swimming. If the killer really did wash the blood off with water bottles, they'd have to drench their entire body. But there were no towels in the beach house, and it would have taken a while for the water to fully air dry. Yeah. So you said you went swimming so you'd have a cover story. Don't just stay silent! Say something! Hold on, you bastard! Well, why is Fuyuhiko... Uh, interrupt you this. saw her at the diner. You never saw her near the beach house, right? Yeah, but why are you so worked up? So maybe she really was swimming. No one even saw her swimming. No, I saw her. Uh, huh? Okay. After I ran into you bastards at the diner, I crossed paths with her on my way home. So, so there's no doubt. She would have arrived at the diner from the opposite direction of the beach house. Hold on, that's strange. Didn't you just say this earlier? I didn't meet anyone. I was minding my own business. Yeah, 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 yeah. You told me you didn't see anyone. Don't try to tell me you forgot about that. He was trying to hide the fact that he was <clears throat> staring at Peko. Not so fast! It's too soon to decide she's a killer! Why? Do you have a crush on her? We haven't established how the killer was able to leave the beach house! Now that you've mentioned it, it's The roadside door was blocked! And if it's impossible to leave from the beach side without leaving footprints, then how the fuck did the killer escape? The vent! Uh, why are you all fired up, Fuyuhiko? You're not the suspect, Peko is! Who cares about that? Answer me! If you have an explanation, then show me what you got! We might have an answer. Huh? We do have an answer. Mm -hmm. This Oh well, sucks to be you, because it is solvable. And I might just have an answer to that mystery. I see. Then let's hear this alleged method of escaping the beach house. Alleged. Sir. Yeah, sure. How the, killer the killer's escape route. I might know what it what it was. In fact, the only possible thing I can think of is that opening. Small window in the shower room. If the roadside and beachside doors aren't an option, the only other thing I can think of is Well, nothing really. Except that small window in the shower room. Yes. <laughs> Don't you know how high that window is? There's no way Peko could have reached it. But, but, but what if, for instance, she got help from someone? She might have reached it by riding someone's shoulders, but then that person would have been left behind. I mean, she's an athlete. Uh, I don't know, she did some parkour, jumped onto the showers and then <laughs> leapt to the window or something. Was used? A rope, for instance? And what happened nah. to the rope after they used it? Yeah. And don't say something stupid like they threw it outside. They ate it. Of course not. It, it was, was a gummy the rope. Trip rule. rule three, littering is not allowed. Let us coexist with this island's bountiful nature and mutual prosperity. Littering is prohibited. Even if it might be evidence, rules are still rules. You see? There's no way they'd be able to escape from that window. Oh, and? Did it work? No. They just have to use an object. Chiaki, don't fall asleep on us! We just said they couldn't use an object! You did? I thought you were saying they couldn't dispose of an object. I see! You don't have to throw it away if you can just hide it somewhere on your body. Oh, yeah, the bag huh? that she's always Peko was holding. Wearing a swimsuit, remember? Where would she even hide an object? And if you say she hid it in her special place, I'll stab you in yours! <laughs> no! Please don't be violent! 
even if the killer used an object to escape out the window, they wouldn't have been able to get rid of it. So, the only thing I can think of is that the killer must have hid it somewhere. If that's the case... Focus and think. The object the killer used to escape out the window... Hangman's Gambit. Which is way worse in this game. So, uh, let's review the buttons, because I don't remember them. Fast forward this circle, catch and release, explode the letter is cross, display, hide the problem. Letter explosions, okay, so cross to catch and release, and triangle to try and... Uh, and what was the question? What did the killer use to escape out of the window? You know, I'm not really sure, unless it's a... S Yes, ba 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 nope. Oh yes, actually. Uh, whoosh. Oh, ba. What is it? Not gonna be yes. Ah, uh, bamboo. Okay, 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 okay. A bamboo stick or sword or whatever. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Bamboo. Shoot. Sword. Okay. Yes. That's a name, right? No. Oof. Sword. Give me a no. Give me a no. Nope. Whoops. I hit the wrong button. I need a no. Okay. Now give me an R. Thank you. Just need a D. Whoops. I keep hitting the wrong button. Just a bunch of ants. Come on, give me a D. Yes, here it is. Finally. I got it. I got it. Echo, you carry that bamboo sword on your back at all times, right? If I recall correct, you had it then too. <laughs> Despite the fact that you had a swimsuit on, you were still wearing your bamboo sword. Are you saying she used that bamboo sword to escape through the window? Yeah. yeah. Echo used that bamboo sword as a step stool and escaped out the window. A sword as a step stool? And she has the athletic uh, prowess to do the, see, to do so. I knew it. So. I knew it was a ninja. Didn't I tell you? A ninja could have climbed that easily. Ninjas know a climbing trick where they lean their sword against a wall and use the handguard as a step stool. She was actually right. <laughs> what Whoa, the hell? Just like a Japanese ninja. Miss Sonia, ninjas only exist in Japan. Yeah. Well, it is a bamboo sword, but I'm sure a slender girl like Pekko could easily use it to climb. Well, Pekko, do you have anything to say? Now then, the time is coming in for the panic talk action. Let's talk a little bit about fever time and nega time. From this point on, you will be able to, f to use fever time by pressing the R1 button during PTA. When fever time is activated, the tempo will be pushed to its, to its max. But that's not all, you won't miss during fever time either. By pressing the cross button when applicable, you can destroy your opponent's verbal assault. 
but only until your focus gauge runs out. So make the make the best possible use of your time. Of course, you're not the only one who can get the upper hand. There's something called Nega Time that your opponent can use too. If your opponent activates Nega Time, your tempo marker will disappear, making it quite a bit difficult to press the buttons in rhythm. So in that case, please time the rhythm not with your uh, not with your eyes, but with your ears. I skip that last part. And your passionate heart. If you can clear it, you can always change the difficulty settings. I'm not gonna tell them that they'll have to redo the class trial for that chapter if they do. Okay. Well then, good luck and have fun. Hold on a sec, you bastard! Why are you so worked up about this? You're saying she used her sword as a step stool and went out the fucking window? Then what about the sword? It would have been left in the shower room and she wouldn't have been able to recover it, dumbass! I mean, if she held onto the handle... Who you, Hiko? Why do you even care? Yeah, exactly. Shut up! Just shut the fuck up and answer me! If you have an answer, then fucking give it to me! Yo, bro, if chill, she chill. If bamboo sword as a step stool, it would have been left behind! Fuyuhiko, why? Why are you... Planet Talk action. Got proof, you bastard! That's obviously impossible! Wait... Am I supposed to... Yeah, I don't remember. Lock on and attack. Select final strike. Okay. Shut up! Don't fuck with me! Got proof, you bastard! Shut up! Shut up! Don't fuck with me! Got proof, you bastard! Yo, yo. That's obviously Now let's impossible. go with fever time. What do you say? Your fucking organs! Oops, You're pissing me off! One. You're pissing me off! Bastard! Oh, what do you say, miss? Shut up! Shut up! Got proof, you bastard! Okay, we're almost there. I'm That's missing everything. Impossible. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Can I just... If she Oops. used a bamboo sword as a step stool, oh, it cool. would have been left behind! Uh, bamboo. Whoops, I took too long. Bamboo sword bag, I'm guessing, was the answer. Shut up, shut up, shut up! Don't fuck with me! Okay, if she used bamboo, bamboo sword, sword as a bag. Step stool, this is the end. Yes! Well then, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to follow me on Twitch. The name is Loftog TV. Now remember, if you do stop by, please follow school regulations. No spoilers are allowed. See you very soon.